Hey yo, what's going on everybody? Stonic10 here, back with a short video today, but I wanted to share a Keemstar update and briefly follow up to a story we covered the other day involving Bookie2988's crypto scandal. It was the 4th of July celebrations over the weekend and Keemstar invited his lolcow companions up to Buffalo to make some content for the Fat Cunt podcast and it seems like things got pretty interesting over the weekend. A small vlog was posted showcasing the first day of their trip where the lol cows hung out at the Keemstar compound. Hey Jordy, where are you currently at? Never heard of that. It's where are you currently at, at, son? I'm in Joe Biden land. This ain't Joe Biden land. You know Trump's winning New York this year. Oh, you know he is. He's, He's winning yeah. New York. I, I think told you you're coming. Honestly. Huh? I think he's gonna win mm, everywhere. Just wings. Like, like Riveting content. The next day, Boogie, his girlfriend, and Wings' wife Kelly went to Niagara Falls, while Wings sat in the hotel room and napped the entire day. Absolutely classic. On the night of the 4th though is where things seem to get interesting. Kim held a party with some family and friends, and during it, he actually proposed to his girlfriend. I'm cringing so hard watching this clip, looking at Keem down on one knee, oh my god. Keem's girlfriend, or fiance now I guess, Brantley, used to appear regularly on the Keem Star show, and this was honestly some god awful content. Brantley, Brantley stop, uh -oh, uh -oh, no, uh -oh, uh -oh. Brantley, Brantley, uh -oh. Brantley. You forgave all of us. Yes. I tried to call you to try to fix everything, uh -oh. even though it was already fixed. You said it was fixed. Well, I didn't want to talk to you. I tried to call you to fix it up. You said, good morning, honey. You want to talk to me. Don't lie. Oh. And you even hugged me. Oh. You even said, I miss you. It's so great oh. to see you again. It is. Why are you lying? You're lying. What is she talking about? No. Okay. No one should be giving her a microphone. Holy fuck. Shut up, up fucking bitch. Kim and Brantley have received a lot of criticism for their relationship over the last few years, especially after Kim left his partner of 13 years, who he had a kid with, to go and date exclusively young women. Yo, bro, I met this high school girl that was hot as fuck tonight. He was even doing some sort of cringe girlfriend application thing, which led to the existence of this clip. I posted a picture of you on Twitter. So. People think you're pretty. I know. Mm. You know the internet has to approve of all the ladies I date, especially Trisha Paytas. <laughs> yeah, I really, really require Trisha Paytas' stamp of approval. Ooh, you don't like Trisha. I don't mind her. I just don't take relationship advice from people <laughs> with the integrity of your fucking work paper bags. <laughs> Why are you so cute when you talk shit? I don't know. I'm scared of from you. Mm. W Riz Keemstar. After cycling through a few different women, he ended up settling on Brantley, his 20 year old assistant who he'd come into contact with after she kept hitting him up in the DMs. Now, they've been together for about three years now or something, and it seems like they're both pretty happy, so I don't want to rag on the relationship too much. Congratulations to the happy couple, I guess. I'm sure it's gonna be an interesting wedding. But uh, Keem, if by any chance you're watching, I have one word for you. Prenup. But anyway, after this emotional proposal, it appears that Subordinary Gamers arrived to the party, and he got into it with Bookie regarding his crypto scam. Now for those who don't know, Bookie2988 has been under fire for promoting a pump and dump crypto scam after being paid $10,000 and he used his cancer and other health issues as an excuse for doing this. True happiness comes from a goldfish, from the same woman a couple of nights a month, and the occasional meme coin. Fatty for life. <laughs> I do want to be genuine with you and the rest of the internet. I'm in pretty dire need of money. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills and I'm fighting cancer. I'm on $1,800 for the medications right now. 
I need the money to pay for that. I have a $2,000 a month mortgage. Medicare even returned to do a stream on this, a creator that actually has cancer and is struggling with money. He calls Boogie out on this hard and pretty much leaves any defense Boogie has completely useless. And this is why this particularly pisses me off, Boogie. So let me try to explain this before we get into it because you might be wondering why do I sound somewhat angry about this? Because I'm dying, you fucking cunt. Because I actually have cancer and I'm dying from it. Painfully, you fat piece of shit. And throughout all of that, I haven't fucking screwed my audience. I didn't do a crypto scam, Boogie. I did streams. I collected super chats. I sold fucking hats, Boogie. That's what I did. Oh, is medicine expensive? Is cancer tough? Shit, God, who would know? Oh, well, fuck, I would. Luda was another creator who was calling Boogie out for this pretty hard, making a very critical video on him, and even saying at one point that he was rooting for the cancer to win. Even before this, Muda has always been very critical of Boogie, with them getting into an argument a few months ago, over the age of Boogie's mentally fucked girlfriend. Team Read it said again. That you said it to him, but I so never what am I did. gonna do? Well, anyway, okay, fucking, so Team Star, Team Star, hey, go. Cal chat. Or, sorry, Why do you work with a guy here? that just slandered you? What the fuck? You're such I, a bitch! I'm a forgiving why? guy, man. I, 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 why? Fuck it. Keemstar's gonna make me money. I'm just here to make money. So with Boogie and Muda at the same party, tensions were high between them. And when discussion about the topic was brought up, it was amplified by a drunken Keemstar who instantly started recording. Muda, what's your point in all this? I'm just saying, why, do, why be a victim? Just be honest about why it. Why be a victim? Okay, Boogie, why be a victim? Put the glove on, be a victor. Boogie, why be a victim? You want? Why be a victim? Stupidity, stupidity. Be a victim. Yeah. Stupidity. No, no, just tell the camera you want to be a victim. Why be a victim? Why be a victim? No, no, just tell the camera you wanted money and you didn't care about your audience. That's it. Uh, no, I, I wanted money and I also wanted people to not to fucking attack me, so I played the victim like a dipshit, knowing it never works, because oh, so I'm a fucking covert narcissist piece of shit. So you you want to hear what it is? I reverted to my covert narcissism ways. I tried not to. I did a Caleb Hammer interview today, and I told everybody to go fuck themselves because it was funny. And I'll tell this man here right here, go fuck yourself. It was funny. Nobody with a brain, Nobody with a brain, I, I literally was like, yo, don't be a victim. Proceeds to be a victim for the next 90 seconds. No <laughs> winning with it, dude. Where's the victim? Where's the victim? I'm telling you, I did an interview just today. Just just said it was camera. funny. You wanted, to, you wanted to scam the audience and make money. That's it. Where's the scam? I told you not to buy it. The scam would be to tell you, me, but hey, you know, I know, no, I know a scam. I've seen you promote Raid Shadow Legends. When did I Ooh. promote Raid Shadow Legends? Have you done that? Have you done that? Have you done that? Have you done that? You just said that I promoted Raid, right? No, 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 no. I know one you probably done. Have you? Wait, let him respond. You said I promoted Raid. Now, out of all the thousands of videos, find any Raid Shadow Legends promotion. I don't watch your content anymore. I watched it in five years. One of the most popular videos is how I rejected a bag from Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, that's awesome, actually. That's awesome. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, really? Like, this is what's crazy. He blatantly lies, and then when you catch him in the lie, he's like... thought you did. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Everyone was here. Yeah, everyone was here, right? Yeah, he all said mistakes. I promoted it, and then I said I did, and he's like, "Oh, I thought you did." I thought you did, <laughs> you motherfucker! I used to think yeah, the world was I flat till I thought it was round. Just say I, I never did, did on the camera. <laughs> give Ethan fine. Well, well, you're a narcissist. You are the world. You're obviously round. <laughs> Just give, give old Ethan the clip. Hey, at the end of the day, I know you fucking hate me. I got no bad. Come on. I'm not shaking your hand. He's not going to shake your hand. Scared him off. Scared him off. This man just got engaged. Come on, man. Put it, I'll shake his Put it aside for the end of the night. Yeah. Put it inside for the end of the night. Bro, I don't care. 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 You want, you want to make this about bullshit? I'm going to make it about bullshit. I'm here to have fun. I've been having fun for three days. He had to beg your ass to come. I'm his fucking friend. I flew across the goddamn country to get here. You flew or you drove? I drove, motherfucker. Oh, you lied again! Oh! You lied again! <laughs> Guys, we're gonna leave it right there. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> it seems like Kim's 4th of July party just turned into one big episode of Lol Cow Live. It's so funny to see these two confront each other in real life. Boogie instantly backs down when pressed, and he made a claim that was blatantly untrue. 
It's also hilarious when Muda just refuses to shake Boogie's hand. That fat fuck does not deserve any respect. So that's the video for today, a bit of a shorter one, but I just wanted to go over those two things. Keem is getting married and Boogie got pressed, so an interesting weekend at Keemstar's house. Let's get some hype going for the wedding and the eventual divorce, I guess. So yeah. My name has been Stonic10, if you liked the video, leave a like, leave your feedback in the comments, subscribe, and I'll be back in the next one. Catch you later.